Hi guys, this is your boy Emmanuel Ajmaibadu. Go on YouTube and subscribe to Sahara Football. Cheers. Well, by now, I'm sure you've heard the breaking news. Ghana vs. Sudan will be played at the Accra Sports Stadium. Yes, a couple of uh, minutes ago, uh, the GFA officially announced it and attached the letter that came from CAF. CAF are still not satisfied with Cape Coast Sports Stadium. Interesting. Many people's picks uh, for where the venue or the match will be played was the Cape Coast Sports Stadium. Fortunately, it was not the Cape Coast Sports Stadium. Accra fans will have the chance to support the Ghana Black stars for the first time since march 2021 we'll look at the details and the conditions under which Accra Sports stadium was uh, uh, accepted and approved as the venue and uh, looking into the future how we can avoid such embarrassment so we jump right into it and uh, first of all we know what happened in the past few weeks after ghana's game versus angola at the babayara sports stadium unfortunately uh, we could not get a venue and cap banned that venue because of issues with the pitch and other things that they made us aware of and we did not do anything about it as far back as march 2022 fast forward the cap said that we should look for venues outside ghana out of the approved venues and uh, we started a search because of this the government and collaboration with the gfa and the nsa which should have been something that was going on throughout this uh, tenure throughout this whole debacle uh, came put their heads together and decided to work earnestly first baba era was closed down across sports stadium and cape coast sports stadium were closed down and uh, calf uh, had been called in to do an inspection uh, we raced against time the earlier in the week uh, pictures of the Accra Sports Stadium had come in and how it looks. Pictures of uh, Babayara, um, well, pictures of Accra Sports Stadium started trickling in and we saw how the pitch looked like. It looked good. But many people were of the opinion that probably the ball would not roll on it and it had been colored green or whatever. Fast forward to Wednesday morning today and we are getting news that CAP have approved the venue. The communique that came in from the Ghana Football Association read, The Confederation of African Football has approved the Accra Sports Stadium for the Total Energy's 2025 African Cup of Nations Match Day 3 qualifier between Ghana and Sudan. Now the letter which was addressed to the General Secretary Prosper Harrison Addo Esquire read, Following a comprehensive review of the reports of the CAF independent inspection regarding the Cape Coast and Accra Sports Stadia, we are pleased to inform you that the Accra Sports Stadium has been approved to host the AFCON qualifier for Morocco 2025. Specifically, it will host the Group F match between Ghana and Sudan, which is scheduled for October 11th. In light of this approval, we kindly request that the GFA and the stadium management team prioritize the necessary enhancements to the pitch and other critical areas of the stadium leading up to the match day uh, to ensure an optimal experience for both teams and the attending fans. Please note that CAF will continue to closely monitor the readiness of the stadium for the match as well as for future CAF sanctioned matches interesting so yeah so con some conditionalities have been given to the fa to meet critical areas the details were not given in this communique that was posted but i'm sure they are aware of it and the the calf mentioned the gfa along with the stadium management the gfa along with the stadium management should work together well i think you know where i'm going with this the fa tend to say that they are not in charge of maintaining stadiums and pitches and rightly so they are not in charge of it but they are beneficiaries or they utilize those stadiums for competitions or qualifiers they are the main utilizers of the stadiums why won't you be eager or why won't you make sure that if you are the main utilize all the main beneficiary of the stadium you make sure that everything is in order or put them to book or call nsa or whatever to book why do you have to wait till something happens and then we are in a hot spot and have to worry ourselves in uh, trying to get things together why 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 do we do this to ourselves a lot of times we'll have a look at how the across sports stadium looks right now in a 
comprehensive video that was captured uh, early this week. Also, look at the Aliu Mahama Stadium. It's set to be ready uh, for football in the Ghana Premier League. Kerala United will be playing there. We'll have a look at that as well. It looks good. They all look good. Hopefully, we can maintain it. And my issue with the Accra Sports Stadium was mainly the washrooms. We hope that it has been put in good shape. We hope that everything is in good shape. But let me know your thoughts in the comments box on the decision from Cap. We did not need to get here. We did not need to make this happen before we do the right thing. Hopefully in the future, we could spread the games across the country. Sometimes we go to Tamale. Sometimes we go to Cape Coast. Sometimes we go to Babaira. And today we have Accra. Hopefully it's not just Accra throughout till Accra gets tired and we neglect all the other stadiums. We hope that that is not the case. Let's have a look at how the Accra Sports Stadium looks now and the Tamale Sports Stadium that look currently. Let me know your thoughts in the comments box. I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy the rest of your week. Ha, ha, ha. 